expertise in motion. 1,500 employees are a large global family, all working together to serve our customers with dedication and commitment to meet your production demands. For example, flat glass plants and complex line components, cutting by laser, building material industry, baggage loading and offloading at airports, veneer industry and various other industries, handling and processing of any kind of gypsum. Magma, a customer in Russia, received from us in 2012 one of the most modern gypsum block lines. Its output is 1,750 square meters of 80 millimeter thick blocks per day. The plant can produce either hollow blocks or solid blocks. The stucco is stored in a silo with a holding capacity of 180 cubic meters, which is enough for about one and a half days of production. A screw conveyor automatically transports the stucco to a scale, where a quantity for the next batch is weighed out. At the same time, the necessary amount of water is weighed in a tank. The water is filled into the batch mixer first, then comes the previously weighed stucco. The mixer blends water, stucco, and additives into a slurry without bubbles. Additives can be added automatically or by hand, as requested by the customer. The slurry is filled into the molding box and uniformly distributed by the operator. Once the gypsum has begun to set, a plane shapes the upper tongues of the blocks. The gypsum that is scraped off is returned to the mixer. It serves as accelerator for the next batch. This means that no waste is produced in this process. When the gypsum has set, hydraulic pushers remove the blocks from the molding box. The geometry of the molding box has been designed to make sure that the blocks are not damaged during this process. Our mixer has a special mechanism that allows it to be emptied should there be a power failure while mixing is underway. The system can thus be used again immediately after the power supply has been restored. There is no need to clean the mixer, which is a tedious job that takes several hours. A spacing grab lifts the formed blocks from the machine. On their way to drying trolleys, the gypsum blocks are automatically spaced out for drying. For over eight decades now, Grinzebach BSH has supplied everything required for the production and further processing of gypsum and plaster, from individual pieces of apparatus up to turnkey industrial plants. Grinzebach gypsum block plants can process stucco from FGD or natural gypsum. Any requested plant size can be built. In actual practice, limitations are set by the economic efficiency of very small plants on the one hand and forming machines that are too large to be handled by a single operator on the other hand. Our customers can rely on our advice and support in all these matters. All our plants are tailored to our customers' individual requirements, be it in hot regions where the blocks can be dried in the open air, or in other regions where production is possible only with a dryer. In addition, the customer can choose between fully automatic and semi-automatic production lines. 
blocks are automatically placed on the trolleys. An automatic system moves the full trolleys into the dryer. Drying takes between 30 and 54 hours, depending on the size of the blocks. Our dryers can be equipped with heat recovery systems that bring energy consumption down to between 450 and 630 kilocalories per kilogram of evaporated water, depending on the system's design. The fresh air for the dryer is taken from the building. It passes through a heat exchanger where it's heated up to approximately 50 degrees centigrade. The condensate from the heat exchanger can be used as process water. The dryer burners can be repaired or replaced during operation. There's no need to stop the plant. When drying is complete, the blocks are automatically removed from the dryer for further processing or intermediate storage. There's enough capacity to store the blocks produced in two shifts, so that the wrapping system does not have to run the whole time, but only needs a single eight-hour shift to wrap all the block produced in one day. The unloading grab takes a set of blocks from the drying trolley and places it on chain conveyor one. A spindle mechanism pushes the blocks together so that they form a line into which the rest of the previous batch is integrated. The blocks are then transported to chain conveyor 2. When 15 blocks, depending on the size, or a 1200 millimeter line of blocks are on chain conveyor 2, chain conveyor 1 stops and lifts the remaining blocks with a hoist. The 15 blocks can now move on to chain conveyor 3. The chain conveyor one hoist moves down and the remaining blocks are used to form the next pack of 15 blocks. Another grab takes the blocks off the conveyor to a pallet. Two packs are placed on the pallet side by side. The loaded pallet goes to the wrapping system. All six sides are wrapped with weatherproof film. The number of wraps is adapted to the available film material and the customer's requirements. Wrapping is complete, a company logo and product data can be printed onto the film. A forklift takes the wrap pallets to the warehouse. All our plants are tailored to our customers' individual requirements. We can also help you develop a plant for your specific needs. Grinzebach, your perfect partner in gypsum technology.